All right, zone 10 isn't working. I know where the valve is, but I don't know why it's not working. We're gonna get out our trusty Tempo 551 locator and go figure it out. There's the valve and that's the multi-strand wire we're going to track back to the controller to see why it's not working. I've got my ground stake in the ground connected to one lead. The other lead is connected to the wire that goes back to the controller. And I've got my locator set up on the third level. Let me go up one more. Oh, there it is, third level. If I go up to the fourth, it's gonna be a little stronger than I need. I can go up to the fourth in a little bit. I will if I need to, but we're gonna to stick to three because we're not going very far. The transmitter is actually putting out both of those frequencies at the same time. It's putting out the 1.75 and 33 kilohertz. And that little dip down means that I'm using the null function. The null function means when I get over the wire, there isn't going to be a noise. As opposed to the peak, which when I get over the wire will make a loud noise. I may switch between the two of these while I go and do this tracing, but I'm gonna start with null. And as you can see, as I get over the wire, the noise goes away. That's in null mode. Peak mode, the noise goes away when I go outside, but it gets stronger over the wire. I prefer null mode. We're gonna continue there with the 33 kilohertz. I was tracking along the front of these bushes, pretty much where you see that shadow, all the way along here. And then my signal died, wouldn't come back anymore. Let me show you. Going through here, and I have it in peak mode, so we're gonna hear it when we're over the wire. The wire is right here. Then I lost it. Then what I do is make a big circle. I hear it there. I hear it there. That tells me that I have an elbow or a 90. <laughs> and then I found the other 90 right there. I know the main line travels right through here. It's a very shallow main line, as you can see. All these trees have pulled it up over the years. Let's see if we lose it and there's the other end of it. That makes sense as to why it's not working. We just have to find the other end of the wire, which will be in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and give this a little bit more power, a lot more power. Well, wires are probably right here. There's the other wires there. I'm gonna go grab my shovel and we'll see if we find them right here. We found three wires. We've got two black wires and a white wire here. And we've got obviously the wires coming from the controller. Since the last time I've pulled out the camera, I've already figured out that that red wire and this white wire are coming from the controller that are intended for zone number 10. I confirmed that by asking Timothy to turn on the zone and using my multimeter connected to both of those wires to show 28, 24 to 28 volts coming out of there. I know that that's giving me the voltage from the controller. Now we just got to figure out these three wires over here. One thing I do know, and I'll have to go show you the other end, is that the wire that the locator is currently connected to is sending power to this wire here. And the locator is connected to that multi-wire right there when we have perfectly good wires coming out of the box here, including a black wire that's sticking out right here. I'm gonna connect my locator to that black wire and see if it doesn't go to the other black wire that's down there. And then we'll just not use any of this multi-wire at all. And also I'm going to check to see if uh, the voltage does make it from this point to that point for the common wire. And we'll also use the original common wires and not use this extra multi-strand wire that was definitely installed after the fact that the system was installed. That's where we're at right now. We're gonna go ahead and move this over to this one right here, which be careful. That whole box is full of water, which means if that little bit of that wire is touching that water, now that whole box of water is energized. So I won't be sticking my hand in there until I turn off the machine first. All right, let's go back down to the other end and see if we get a signal on that other wire. All right, using nature's uh, phone stand here, this rock, I'm gonna go ahead and set my phone right there so you can watch the multimeter. I also wanna show that I'm using my shovel as the grounding point here. Just gotta find a spot where there's no paint on there. And then for the other wire, I'm gonna place my probe onto it. And this is the wire that we were sending voltage here from that multi-wire before. And we are now getting 0.01 volts on that one. So I'm not totally surprised because that tells me that the multi-wire is connected to this wire somewhere underground over there by that valve. 
but there was the other black wire coming out of the box that we just connected to. Let's te test this other black wire here. And we're getting 0.34 volts. That's not anywhere near the voltage we should be seeing here. That tracker is putting out at least 40 volts. So we should see maybe 20 volts over here, but we're not seeing that. So the voltage is not making it over here. There's a different problem with this wire. Ultimately, I don't need this wire. The other wire is in the box and was operating the valve previous to this mainline repair that broke the wires. So we may just go back to that. But before we do that, I wanna confirm that my common wire is working, which is this white wire right here. We're gonna to go to the other end, hook up the tracker, come back over here and take another reading and see if the common wire is giving us uh, voltage. It should be because we're gonna need it to turn on that valve down there. It was working before, so this it should be working. Let me go ahead and put the tracker on the other end. All right, we got the locator hooked up to the common wire at the other end, which should give us a signal here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my probe on the shovel here and the other probe on the white wire here. And would you look at that? We're getting the 35 volts. I know that the voltage is making it to this wire. We need this wire and this one over here next to it in order to get that valve working. We're gonna go ahead and connect these two wires here to these two wires here. And then at the other end by the valve, reconnect those wires to the solenoid. And then we're gonna turn on zone 10 and it should work. We'll find out after this. Would you look at that? The zone is now working. And it needed it too, cause it's really freaking dry over here. All right, zone 10 is fixed. On to the next one.